Hi right, guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam. So I'm um, looking at a chart. Bitcoin broke above thirty thousand, above thirty one thousand dollars, right? But that is not the resistance resistance we're looking for to Bitcoin breaking, right? So the main resistance we're looking for to Bitcoin breaking is uh, the last time Bitcoin rose above this green line here. It got to about thirty. This is thirty two six hundred. But the ultimate resistance to Bitcoin is actually 33,000. Once we break this 3,000, and then um, this point here, which is 30,800, becomes a new support. And then uh, we're very sure that in a few weeks' time, if this support sustains, right, Bitcoin remains above the 31,000, then we know we're heading for this other support, which is $37,000. So I'm gonna move this to four hours. Yeah, so this is the support um we want to see Bitcoin at and not the support right here. Meanwhile, depending on depending when that happens, try, try as much as you can to keep buying Bitcoin uh DCA every day. So DCA means dollar cost averaging. Alright, so let's just look at the news. Before we look at the news, let's look at the prices of other cryptocurrencies. So Bitcoin is above 31,000 up 5%, Ethereum is up 4%, Binance Smart Chain uh, is up 4%, Cardano is up 14%, and Solana is up 10% despite the, <coughs> sorry, despite the hurdles of Solana faced war. Well, those guys are doing an amazing job. So going to the news, Uganda Central Bank U-turns on crypto welcoming first firms to reg regulatory sandbox. Right, we saw the same thing also with with uh central bank of nigeria you know coming up with crypto regulations right to regulate crypto uh this is good news for cryptocurrency in general because uh, regulations brings about more adoption right uh, but excess re re regulation also hinders a true um purpose why cryptocurrency was created however in all regulation is, is needed right for much more adoption Moving on, Australian mayor downplays crypto volatility, recommends it for rates payments. Right, so we know how crypto uh, volatile crypto can be, how that the price can swing up and swing down. But if if you're gonna be first yourself, sending money across border is based on a cryptocurrency. Right, if you wanna use the banks, you're gonna go through a lot of protocols that are, that are not really really convenient for anyone right so i saw this news here and actually actually somebody posted this news this screenshot of this news on the status and was making it look as though the adoption of cryptocurrency was was reducing but i don't quite agree because the article says just in case you're not watching the video and you're just listening while driving or something so the title says bitcoin atm installations record low in in may biggest drop since 2019 now this is not this is not a proof that the adoption of cryptocurrency is reducing. No, is a proof that the the dependency and the use of physical cash is reducing because part of the reasons why you're installing ATM is so that people can deposit their crypto and get fiat in return, right? But they 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 will come a time when we won't need to exchange crypto. Yes, you heard me right. There will be no need to exchange crypto because we will have to, i will actually be spending crypto because if you have the us dollar or you have the nigerian naira and you're in nigeria you don't need to start exchanging the naira you know to another currency to buy something you just pay directly with your naira or pay directly with your dollar same thing is going to happen to to bitcoin right so the fact that uh this is reducing right doesn't mean adoption is reducing it, it means the dependency on fiat is drastically reducing right so um part of reasons why <coughs> sorry part of reasons why bitcoin ATMs are reducing is because of the because of the rise of cbdc so uh, we've done several videos about cbdc cbdc just means central bank digital currency right so uh, this is it right here so this this title actually says CBDCs can kill private crypto. Indians are Arubi deputy governor to IMF, right? So 
I strongly know this is a false statement because okay, let me just explain in case you don't get it. So CBDC is central bank digital currency and private cryptocurrencies are private cryptocurrencies, meaning they are, they are cryptocurrencies that are harder to trace, right? Unlike, unlike Bitcoin, you can easily trace Bitcoin transactions, uh, like it, the pure Ethereum can easily trace Ethereum transactions. But private, private cryptocurrencies are really private. And the perfect example of a private cryptocurrency is Monero. And that's part of the reasons why I keep telling people buy as much Monero as you can because the more the more regulation come into the crypto space, the more cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum get centralized. If you're watching this video, you don't agree with what I just said. Of, of course, feel free. <laughs> you know, feel free to drop your opinion. But you're gonna get more, more centralized as regulation comes in. Right. So that is when people will start moving to cryptocurrencies like Monero and Litecoin because Litecoin has uh, what is called Litecoin Mimbo Wimbo where users can actually hide their transactions trail. So CBDC can never kill private cryptocurrency because people are looking for ways to hide their money from government because government want to tax everything, government want to seize everything, right? I'm going to get into an article which, um, you know, shortly about the, some of the dangers of CBDC. So as long as the governments are still evil around the world, as long as the governments still have their agenda that is not in, in line with what the people want, people will still be looking for ways to hide their money from the government. And one of the ways they can hide their money from the government is in private cryptocurrencies. So that statement right there doesn't make any sense. Moving on, smart contracts can redesign legal agreements, but businesses be aware. Right, uh, we're well, we all of this, right? So, in smart contracts, as they are called, can actually, uh, you can, you can say you want to buy a piece of land and then put all the documents, you know, uh, into, into a smart contract and then write the smart contract to release the document ownership or change document ownership when the smart contract receives an X amount of dollars, right? So, it's, see, in the next future, right, um, it's going to be weird to make transactions, especially heavy transactions that are not stored or related to the blockchain or handled by smart contract. Right. So um, this other article says, uh, of course, it's a lie, but let me just read it. Brazilian Central Banker describes how CBDC system can halt bank runs. Now, first off, right, so what is bank run? So bank run is a process where uh, people go to the bank right to withdraw their money because of fears that the bank might go bankrupt or something might lose uh that that because of fears that they might not be access um, able to access all their money right so cbdc takes out all cash from the banks right so if there's a bank run right maybe let's say in the bank a abc and people are trying to move their money out either by transferring to their mobile phone or going to the bank you know to do that cbdc can easily stop that with just the click of a button Right, with the click of a button, you're not able to transfer your money anymore because obviously there will not be physical cash, right? Yes, that is true. But what what they're not realize, realizing is that people realize that the 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 rain and the 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 popularity of CBDC will lead to the popularity of of private cryptocurrencies because people still look look for ways. See, if you have one million dollars, right, and then you have six hundred thousand dollars in the bank, and then four hundred thousand dollars. Uh, fiscal cash. If something happens, let's say the government don't like you anymore, they decide to freeze your bank, your, your your money. The only money they have access to is the one in the bank. The four hundred thousand dollars you have in cash has full privacy from the bank. You can spend it any way you want to. But with CBDC, there will be no physical four hundred thousand dollars you can hold. And the only place people can hold their money outside out, outside CBDC, right? And 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 open cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. It's in private cryptocurrencies. All right. In the last news for today, Japan passes bill to limit stablecoin issuance to banks and trust company. Right. So, um, I just as the title says, you know, they, these guys are just looking for government around the world are looking for ways and opportunity to to pass on their CBDC because stablecoins actually limit the need and the use of CBDC. Right. So. I've been saying to people around the world, people that watch my video, people that follow me on social media, telling them, try as much as you can to stay away from CBDC. 
all right guys please do make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video if you find it educative and also uh, write one or two comments so it, so it can help out with the algorithm because the more comments we have the more youtube will uh, recommend the video to someone else see ya